and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some elusive burn. So we're going to be taking the Kinku elusives shell with all the very good Ionia cards with, um, that you know has Zed as the champion and then a bunch of elusive creatures um, and some good tricks with like twin disciples. We're going to be taking that shell um, and uh, instead of splashing Freljord to have Omenhawk as the extra one drop to get with Kinku Wayfinder, we're going to be playing Teemo because Teemo is pretty sweet. And of course, getting uh, having Kinku Wayfinder put in two Teemos could be really cool. We're not so we're not focused on Poison Puff Caps much at all. Basically, Teemo is just going to be a one-one elusive that may turn into a two-two elusive if we get to level up, and maybe those Puff Caps will finish a game against like a slower deck that um, has controlled our board, and uh, you know we couldn't quite get the job done. But speaking of getting the job done, playing the other, the real reason to be playing P and Z, of course, are the two removal spells, Mystic Shot, and get excited. Sorry about that, but you know, like getting, you know, like the, these cards, Mystic Shot, get excited. I want to be playing those. Uh, we don't want to play too many PNZ cards. I got nine over here. We got one Thermogenic Beam. I'm basically splitting Thermogenic Beam and Will of Ionia to take out larger creatures um, because we don't want too many PNZ cards. And when we have a, a card like uh, Twin Disciples, we want to like always have like that mana up for Twin Disciples as well. And so wasting it with Thermogenic Beam um, can be a downside at times. But all right, let's 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 see how it does. So this will be my first time playing it. So we're going to be playing Elusive Burn. We're going to be playing it over in Ranked. We're in uh, Platinum 3 right now. Is that Platinum? Diamond? I don't know. The one... I guess Diamond, I think it is. The one before Masters. That's where we're at right now. And we're going to be playing 10 matches and seeing how we do. All removal. Don't think we need this much removal. Get rid of the get excited and probably the will of Ionia also. I do like how Mystic Shot can take out a Katarina right right away. Just get rid of those two. Ooh. Turn one Teemo. Yeah, we did, Storm, yeah. Uh, swim, swim sent a raid this way. It was very kind. More mushrooms. More mushrooms. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. I wonder if they play Elixir of Iron. And if so, if there's any way for me to really play around Elixir of Iron. Show them the might of Noxus. Shouldn't they attack the other way? Free attack the other way? I do feel like this is kind of an early Mystic Shot. Like a... Okay, they do have Elixir of Iron. I'm not too mad at that. You know, they saved the Legion Drummer, but... Legion Drummer isn't the most impactful card right now. Ooh... All right, well, strategy change. You know, I was going to be going to be going Life Blade on this turn, but drawing the Jewel Protector, uh, we want to give the Life Blade the plus three, plus three. So play the Blade Scout, but then it's actually like not bad because we can just bank this three mana to have uh, Twin Disciplines available at any time. Yeah, it takes a little while to get champions. The, the best the route of getting champions is playing... Um, the expeditions. 
After an expedition, you do get a champion, plus you could get more. Um, it costs 3,000 shards to enter, and a champion does also just cost 3,000 shards. So it's actually the same cost, but you get better use from your shards, because if you do it, you know, any kind of winning, um, you can get you know more prizes. If you are lucky enough to get a seven win um, expedition, your champion is free. But then again, you don't get you just get a random champion. You don't get the specific champion that you want for like whatever deck you want to build. So that's the that's the downside. But only the finest serve. Huh. I'm playing assessor with all these small creatures. <laughs> yeah, don't get to keep the cards you draft. You get like you just uh get a collection you know just like that basically Watch, you did learn. This one's trouble. they're just gonna send this thing over here instead of taking <clears throat> instead of taking six Denies a really good card. Well, the Frost Spells are basically all burst speed. Unfortunately, so Deny is not going to stop him. Cannot, nope, cannot double block. Everything's like in lanes. Oh, that's only the second time Teemo's hit? I thought Teemo hit three times. Yeah, Tiny changed it because wanted to... Uh, you know, like my old Twitch name had like the MTG in it. Just wanted, wanted a name that doesn't have a specific game in there and then I can use over the long haul uh, with different games and everything. Not really expecting them to have any pump spells necessarily. You cannot escape. to call themselves Trifarian. Oh, I should. Hmm. Oh, I don't have the space for the Kiku Kinku Wayfinder. Hey, Walker. Yeah, we got we got a host a little bit ago from Swim, which is really nice. So that's got some more viewers in here. So much mana. I don't really want to spend all 11 mana. It's 
So I'm only going to have nine next turn. I don't really even want to do that. Oh, so close. As the arrow flies. Watch, lurk. I am a true master. Maybe I should have killed the Ash. I wish our Deny actually did anything. Yeah, we should have this anyway. We should still be good. I mean, they, they still have six mana. I was say, they could have like another Harsh Winds and then Harsh Winds these two now. Um... Oh, uh, we missed. The bad news, we missed. The good news is, unless it's a Teemo, it's a burn spell. And they're going to die. Because it can't be Thermogenic Beam, so it's either just a burn spell to go upstairs or a Teemo. Burn spell. Alright, might as well try attacking first. Um... I guess they're not a deny deck because they don't have Ionia, so I guess the burn spell just kills them at any point. All right, one and zero. First match, first win. Yeah, I know. Like I'm, I'm playing a, I'm playing nine, so I, I am, I'm a little high on the count for the allegiance. So we'll we'll miss sometimes, but should still be hitting a majority. You know, like a little bit more than two thirds of the time. <laughs> yeah, G gives us a little bit of a sweat for the RNG. Noxus, Freljord and Noxus. Yeah. As I want to keep that anyway. All right, new hand. I guess I should maybe I should keep the deny against As. I don't really love our chance this game, to be honest. But we'll see. Shadow Assassin's our best card that we have currently in hand. These old eyes still see far clear. That's not a bad draw. That'll keep something alive. Bottom. 
More Averrosan sentries. There we go. That's good. So, a couple of good draws for us. Because we want things to... Basically, we want to make it so our creatures don't just die to Mystic Shots and get excited from our Ezreal opponent. So, you know, like, Twin Disciplines being a protection spell, Jewel Protector also being a protection spell. Helps that out. You know, make this life blade a 5-5. Five five. It's much better. Oh, I still had four. I forgot I had the one banked mana. Oh, I should have played the one drop because I was thinking Static Shock. Yep, Static Shock. I wanted to have Deny available for Static Shock. I should have played the one drop. I was thinking that I needed all four. I, I just forgot about that banked mana. So that's bad. So I could have had another three points of damage in here. Still would have been another three points of damage. I don't want to play it now, though, because I want to play it and have it be elusive and attack. For the homestead. Yeah, I agree with you, Walker. This game is amazing. A true Falyorian welcome. In Avarosa's name. Now, I'm not playing the one drop now, because now, you know, I want Twin Disciplines to protect the 5-5. Five five. Or protect the 3-1. Down to 8. Alright, down to 8. And we have these two burn spells. If I would have played this Blade Scout before, it would have been that extra three damage, so they could have been at five with me having these two burn spells. But we're still looking good. Eyes open. Watch your branches. <laughs> Alright, 0 for 2 on Wayfinder. Fifteen. It will be done. I sense fear. I think this is safe enough with me having twin discipline still. I think it's safe enough. I don't have any counter magic or any life gain. So just the burn spell should just finish them off. They'll never see us coming. Eight. That's 
That's why we put some burn spells in our deck. They got all their frostbite stuff and keep us from finishing the damp, you know, dealing lethal damage with all the creatures. Don't matter. We got burn spells. Yeah, Ezreal's like the... <clears throat> Ezreal's used to being the only deck with burn spells around here. Not anymore. Elusive burn. So far, so good. Deck's looking strong. That burn spells help finish these games out. So far. Ooh, I really like Navora Conspirator, but obviously we need a, a one drop to go along with it. I like Jewel Protector a lot too. Hmm. I'm thinking they, I'm thinking they start. They just chose the wrong deck because you know, like they did like the the GG like immediately whenever we joined. I'm not, I'm not writing that down up on the the win wins of course. Like that doesn't count. All right, we got, we got another uh, golden chest. All right, got a couple rares. Getting towards that champion capsule. <laughs> yeah, turn zero kill broke the game. <laughs> Easy win. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how many total cards there are. I know there's... You know, there's the six regions, there's the four champions per region. I don't know the exact total. Yeah, the thing is you can you can really be in basically any any region you want for good rewards. Uh like you know, like basically all the regions are, are joined, so basically whatever kind of deck you want to play is a good region to be in. I think what I would recommend you know, besides that is Shadow Isles and Piltover and Zaun. Those are the two regions that are played the most in Constructed. So those would be the two. Especially kind of if you're, you know, just starting out. Um, I guess it's better mana-wise to play the Green Glade duo. But Puff Caps. It's not really even better mana wise because we'll bank this mana. But just starting out, I'd probably say Shadow Isles because they probably the best starting deck is you know with Elise and stuff. There's 53 per region, so 318 total. Wow. Poor Timo. We are up a card, though, because to play this Sump Dredger, they had to discard a card, so we are up a card. Mm. Time to go. 
We'll see how this works out. I'm taking a lot of damage. Where, you know, I could have played that first and I don't get to play the Green Glade duo. Uh, mm, so they're going to have a Draven next. That was a great draw. Another Life Blade. Because now I can just play this one out like I wanted to and we get to Jewel Protector another one. That was perfect. Alright, they're just down to one card, but we know they'll have Draven next turn. They play Draven, I play Jewel Protector. Alright, I think I... I mean, I'm going to win a longer game. I need to just try to keep my life total high and try to trade with stuff. Take stuff out. So, Green Glade Duo is blocking. Now we're cooking. We have gotten pretty fortunate. Drawn another protector and another life blade. Poor opponent. Probably a necessary risk. Yep. A necessary risk. Because, you know, leth next turn I had lethal pretty easily. Thing has overwhelm now. Again, could have just played the life blade without pumping it up and then and then hatchling and then had lethal that way. Man, and I drew a, and I drew a twin disciplines. I drew really well. Bunch of ways for me to win that. Could also just pump something else to the plus three. Oh well, three no. Up to diamond two. Or yeah, diamond two. Platinum. Something like that. I think diamond.
Thanks, After Wizard. Yeah, there's the there's the YouTube link with all the replays and the. Oh, there it is, Brahms Elnux. The Brahms Elnux is getting uploaded right now. I like I like Wayfinder and Assassin. Thumbnail ready to go. There it is. Thank you, Yud. Will got punished for playing that thing on turn one because they had the one mana creature then to block it, but then got rewarded for playing it on turn one because we drew a conspirator. So it works out. I must get out of here. Yeah, we played. Yeah, we played Braum Elnux uh, with the draft. Um, that was our last, our three-three expedition. Um, so it didn't go, it didn't go perfectly, because um, you know it was a draft, but uh, it was pretty sweet. I think, yeah, just building a Braum Elnux deck would be pretty awesome, though. Tomorrow I'm going to be playing a. Sure. Tomorrow I'm going to be playing a uh, Karma Elnuk deck. Yeah, someone work on Wayfinder. Basically, uh, you have to have Allegiant, so your top card has to be from Ionia also. that has to share the same region. And then it just gets two random one-cost allies from the deck and puts them into play if you hit that criteria. All right, so I'm, I'm expecting... I'm expecting another Withering Whale. Oh, wait, they don't have the mana for another Withering Whale. Okay, never mind. Well, let's... Let's just get a bunch of damage. So the most damage would be playing two more Blade Scouts, but that would open me up horribly to untap Wither whale, so, Withering Whale. So I'm going to just go this route... Pick the assassin back up. Assassin can redraw another card. Yeah, I have. I've basically never really gotten a War Mother's Call off. I've played it a little bit in Expedition. Blech. It's still a two card combo to get rid of my three two. Two card combo to get rid of my two drop, and put <clears throat> and put three counters on their thing. I suppose. So I can go double Shadow Assassin. This next turn. Basically, ha keeping like the Wayfinder for like after a ruination kind of thing. There's the Withering Wheel. <clears throat> it would certainly make sense to will to bounce their four four to turn it back into a one one. Hmm. Yeah, you can save the expedition tokens. There's no they don't expire as far as I know. There's no expiration date on them. You can you can use them later. You don't have to use them right away. Not 
save. Mm. Looks like they have another death mark. Why can't I have one more mana? Ouch. Ouch. Hey, Force of Will. I must get out of here. Sorry, you've had a, a rough day on the ladder. Happens to all of us, though. Um, but yeah, that is, you know, it's rough facing the same opponents over and over and over again. Um, All right, gonna try to. Hey, Forcer will get in the gift itself. Thank you, Boot. Santa Boot in the house. Gonna try to uh, win in the air. The order rewards its faithful. Deny. That's a big time draw. That they just are going to play Ruination. They'll never see me I can still play Blade Scout and Blade Scout and have Deny available for like Withering Whale. Yeah. All right, you got it. They picked the wrong row. Attack for seven, put him down to three. And then if they tap out, get excited if not untap have get excited with I will play my part. with deny backup i can block the dark water scourge so that's going to do three damage to my blade scout oh and three damage to this also won't it they're down to four mana Ugh. All right, well, we're not gonna have lethal yet. Another dark water scourge. I guess I need to get rid of this four four eventually. It's kind of beating me down. We must make our own path. Get 
step line there. So maybe I just let them go back up to 18. Don't have twin disciplines up. Do I want to Mystic Shot my own thing so they don't gain five life, so they just go to 13? Or do I want to just save Mystic Shot, let them go to 18, and just have Mystic Shot still in hand? That's the question I don't really know the answer to. I think I'm going to just save the Mystic Shot. Let them go to 18. That's probably a bad idea. It's 5 life. I'm expecting them to like play something. Okay. Living Shadow. I was say, I'm expecting them to do something here. All right, come on, double teamo. Double teamo. Double teamo. Extra hands never hurt. <sighs> One teamo. My spirit is an unpunchable fire. I think I was supposed to just be killing this karma like a long time ago with my get excited. That's probably what I was supposed to be doing. Two, four, six, seven. It's risky doing the plus three plus zero. Because they could just have you know five mana, deal three, gain three. Respond with that card. Where are you? But of course, I don't have enough to kill them right now. I feel like it's best to just keep on trying to play to the late game and not not trying to just use a bunch of resources to kill them immediately and just play for the late game. I must get out of here. Do not question our resolve. Looking for this. It will be done. Eyes open. I wouldn't be surprised for a Mark of the Isles with this attack. Which, wait, that means I need to block here also. Mark of the Isles would kill me. No, it wouldn't because I've gained life. Right, okay, good. Right, Mark of the Isles is double. That attack was a very obvious mark of the Isles. Well, I should have just blocked everything. I 
What am I doing playing stuff out? Ruination. Good. Just get a Vile Maul. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. All right, damage. Oh, I still attacked with the two one on the ground. Whoops, I meant to not attack with creatures on the ground in case of like a lifelink thing, but whatever, dude. Burn, feeling pretty strong. GG's. GG's. Definitely keeping Teemo. Thermogenic Beam is a good cheap removal spell because this is this is going to be a fast aggro burn deck. Twin Disciplines can be like a protection spell kind of thing. I'll still just get rid of it and look for other creatures. Okay. You won't get past me. They'll never see me coming. Okay, ready. Looking for big. They got past me. Because they should have like the one mana two ones and stuff like that where Teemo can just trade with those things anyway. Quietly. So keeping Teemo, not too bad. Big mission. Oh, boom crew rookie. That's a good one. Down from the tree. More difficult to trade with. Where's my axe? Time for a leap of faith. Uh, it's Raven time. So they're gonna have a Draven the next turn. Another day in the field. I should save this thermogenic beam for the Draven. How exciting. Just as I hypothesized. This one's trouble. I'll hope this works. My right. <laughs> Go puff caps. Doing your job. There's always a way out. Nothing like the great outdoors. Ouch. Wow, what a card. A three for one. Not expect I just was not expecting that, but yeah, I mean I could have played around that by bouncing the three one. Ouch. That was pretty great. You call that sneaky. That was pretty great.
we know they have a Draven in hand, but they haven't been playing it. I really want a uh, Wayfinder. Because they can get the three creatures with that. That's what I really want. Oh, right, they don't even have Dravens in the deck. Oh, yeah, yeah, y'all are right, yeah. So, yeah, they don't have a Draven in hand because they don't have a Draven in their deck. So, they're Draven's Wayfinder. So, I, I could just I could just spend that and kill that thing. They'll never see me coming. Dang, another blowout. Wow. Dang, these blowouts. Backfired. I had two of them, Static Shock and... No one's the wiser. Everything's in place. These are dangerous lands. Yeah, GG's. Had some big time blowouts. <clears throat> that kind of that kind of matchup. I really want the the Wayfinder to, to be like the three creatures, or the Jeweled Protector to be a big creature that makes another creature big, or Shadow Assassin that can replace itself so keep the cards going. We have any of those cards, with those, those would have helped. Any of those. But, <clears throat> yeah, they had a couple huge blowouts. All right, looks like we're playing against that deck again. Um, this time they're playing the champions, though. So they got Teemo and Draven. All right, let's see. I don't know if I want the two jewel protectors in the opening hand. I'm gonna get back the conspirator also. Because if the Green Glade duo dies, maybe we don't actually get to play the the conspirator. We want to draw a Kinku Life Blade to be able to pump up to make it to be a five-five Life Linker. If we get if we draw that, then we have and we have the two Twin Disciplines and everything like that. It should be able to win us the game. Hang on, Zern. Yeah, yep. Yeah, we're playing the P and Z for for burn spells Armed and ready. to help finish off games. They have been doing a good job of that. Everything's better with company. Says you. I can do this. They'll never see us coming. Hmm. This turn's not very good for me. We'll see if we can still stay alive. Even with doing nothing that turn. <laughs> yeah, yep, and then yeah, we can get we can get double Timu in play with with the Kinku Wayfinder. D double Timo, sorry, double Timo in play, like that's kind of what we're we're going for. Time for the main event. 
Got something else too. Another thermogenic beam. I was kind of planning on just playing to get excited to kill the Draven. <laughs> Played magic last night, getting mana screwed made me so angry. Yeah, it's nice. Just not not dealing with mana screw anymore. It is great. That's a, it's a great part about Legends of Runeterra for sure. Like, there's not the non-games. Like, Magic has so many non-games that you just don't... Like, that nobody does. Like, that one of the players doesn't do anything. And they're just not competitive. All these games are so close and... Uh, competitive and interesting. Alright, so they have six cards, but we know they have two Mushroom Clouds, two Spinning Axes... I, I hope they can't kill the life blade. I'll feel kind of bad. Oh, that's burst spelled. Granted, an, an ally elusive. All right. Well, I guess I'm not attacking now. That's a good card against my deck. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to attack into that. I could. I could attack with this four four. I guess trade. Trade with the four three. Yeah. Maybe not. You're gonna need a map. Yeah, you're no, yeah. Basically every match that I lose, I I can think of like things that that went wrong of like, you know, different sequencing, different decisions, you know, mulligan decisions, all sorts of stuff. Pick yet? No. Flash of brilliance. Check out the goods on this one. Eyes open. I'm sorry, Timo. I'm gonna discard you though. Got to keep those twin disciplines mana available to protect. Wait, so we know their whole hand are just spinning axes and mushroom clouds. So we know they they don't have Oh, I guess Timo with some spinning axes can kill my 5-3. Hmm. I should should I attack with the jewel protector also? Maybe I should. Quite a 
probably should have kept Twin Disciplines available again. Raven does not know much about <laughs> Timo, I guess. I got ways to find the mushrooms. Do not fear the shrouded path. Uh, Force says, Todd, what do you think of an Ezreal deck in Shadow Isles with Rekindler, Vile Feast, Miscalls, etc.? That way you can play Tempo Ez and do even bigger combos. I like it. I like it. You get Withering Will, Ruination, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, that, that should work just fine. Buggy. Well, if I lose this, it's because I didn't use the... I played this 2-2 Life Blade and didn't use the Twin Disciplines to save my 5-5. If I do lose this. Got rid of the four toughness things for Zed. I guess they drew some kind of spell. We, we know all the cards in hand. Or at least that, that this could just be the Mushroom Cloud, I guess. I think it's a removal spell. Uh, it's a good removal spell. Claim what is ours. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was a, that was a real good draw. <clears throat> Alright, maybe we... Maybe we both draw Mystic Shots again. I'll take a Mystic Shot. Deny. That doesn't really help me. Uh oh. Get out of here, okay? I gotta focus. Am I just taking Lethal? No, they have two spinning axes. Oh yeah, so I am just taking Lethal. Yeah. Yep. Well, this loss was my fault. This loss was definitely my fault with that attack and not having the Twin Disciplines available. They had a couple, you know, those last two turns, they they drew two really good cards and I drew two dead cards that don't do anything. So that obviously hurt, you know, I could, I could blame it on that. Um, no, Axe has burst, burst speed, but I guess I could have... Wait, I guess I didn't have to block the 1 4. I could have blocked the other two things. I guess, yeah, if I would have just chump blocked the other two things, I would have had nothing left, but I would have killed that. And so all I would have had to do. Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't dead. Oh, I could have denied the two from Boom Crew Rookie. I didn't think of that. I could have done that too. I didn't even think of being able to deny that thing. Well, that was another reason I wasn't dead. Well, all right, so that loss just all all over was my fault. I I absolutely had the cards to win that one. 
Good learning game, though. Good learning game. Uh, I don't want to draw this hatchling. I don't like this hatchling. I'll take that trade. Yep. Yep, happens to everybody. Yep, sometimes you just make mistakes, and that, that was my... That game was my, my bad. Make sense just a thermogenic beam this? I feel like it does. Just keep that thing from attacking me. I got ways to find me mushrooms. We want big creatures. They can get frostbit. Have another life blade we can pump up, or we can pump up a hatchling. Pump up the duo. Not and ready. Everything's better with company. Says you. <laughs> All right, we're going to play Hatchling. And, you know, they won't have time to respond before, so they got to have, you know, they have to have the Frostbite stuff. And hope they don't. Hope their hands a bunch of bull el nucks and chunk chumpa wumps. Chump wumps. I will play my part. My life for Avarosa. Yeah, they did have harsh winds. Oh well, force them to have it. And it's not like we're in a, you know, a bad spot now or anything. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Hmm. Zed or Life Blade? I guess it's Zed. I walk your path. That is a lot of wumps. They clumped the wumps together. Where 
you going? Although it's it's a little risky going down to four. Pretty risky against them, honestly. Go like not you know only blocking one and going down to four. My plan, of course, next turn is the same thing with the hatchling with twin disciplines back up. Make this Zed a 5-4. A No, uh, oh, I guess Ezreal has evolved, yes. They haven't played in Ezreal, but yeah, it will flip if they play one. So if I play the Hatchling, they can play a flipped Ezreal and then kill me. So I guess we can't really let that happen, can we? Because yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. So I guess we need to just go straight to attacks. Because, yeah, if, if I play this, then they get to play Ezreal. Good call there. And they have all these mushroom clouds that just kill me on the spot. Well, it's good news they can't play Ezreal this turn. Yeah, I wasn't surprised by the second static. The the second harsh wins was unfortunate. <laughs> Check me out. Just had it all. Don't blink or you miss me. So if I if I would have played the hatchling, they probably would have just played the the Ezreal. They had me no matter what I did. All right, well now I'm on a losing streak, and it was really because that last match. I should not have lost that last one. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't do anything either way. They had a good hand. All those clump of lumps. All right, just gonna strike right away with Timo. Uh, play duo first. Katarina Zed. Everything's better with company. Says you. I think this is pretty safe. That's fine. Let's move. I will trade a card for, you know, one damage and 
you know, I'll let them gain one life and not get five puff caps for for a card. Sounds like a good trade to me. Shadow Assassin. I don't like Shadow Assassin. Well, I mean, I like Shadow Assassin, but I don't like them playing Shadow Assassin. There's always a way out. Picking the Teemo up because the Teemo can't get through. It's too late for you. This is Mog Mogwai's Ram Katarina deck. What's the Ram part of that? Like battering Ram? Think you're fast? Cute. I'm not going to be blocking any of the things on the ground. They say if they attacked with a shadow assassin, I would block it and then shoot it. As is, I'm going to try to shoot it. Waiting to play the Teemo does let us pump up the other Green Glade duo. Block that one. Why not one of the two twos or the three two? Why the two one? It's too late for you. That makes more sense. Whistle and Timo. Right now, this is them going down to three. So this is lethal. Obviously, we have to get excited as well if something else happens. Sweet. So five and three. Should be six and two if I didn't... You know, if I would have played the one game better. But back in that win column... Hey, what's up, Min Max? Yeah, go and uh, change the name. Get a name without a game in it so I can switch games and everything and not be beholden to any specific game. Let's see. So, regular. 
Kinku elusives. I know the four drop has lifelink, but I'm still getting rid of it because it's pretty small. You know, for a four mana card. That's the card that makes it better. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. I think I'm gonna save the Conspirator till after the Protector. You know, Protector pump the Conspirator, then Conspirator bounce the Protector, and so on. Want to attack before they play Omen Hawk again? Yeah, Legends of Ruterra is really sweet. This game is so much fun to play. Every game's a challenge. It's awesome. Without a sound, silence as death. Yeah, puppy was supposed to go to the vet tomorrow, but I actually ended up. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. I ended up canceling it. Um, puppy's doing good, and and. I you know I've just been doing more research on it and it's just it's just Shiba Inus just have a large neck like that like there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong with her she just has a, a lot large neck um you know I thought that I thought that maybe like it was just larger than I realized but it was it was also it was like kind of scrunched up because of the collar and so like the collar kind of made it look like that but I she hasn't worn her collar the last two days and and her her neck's looking just fine I'm a tad bit worried about Harvey. Harvey ate too much marrow bone and has had the runs and has been throwing up, threw up like six times last night. Extra hands never hurt. But everything, um, yeah, puppy's a Sheba. Everything's better with company. Says you. Um, they follow the wrong. Thanks, best push. Thank you. Um, but what I what I read about Harvey. This one's trouble. Is that is that yeah, like this can happen from eating too much bone and, and she should be and she like didn't want to eat her breakfast this morning. Which is, you know, not like her, but she should be fine in a couple of days, but needs What are you doing? You're not attacking. She should be fine in a couple of days, but she just needs to kind of take it easy on the on the diet. And so I need to try to figure out what I can feed her. Um, like they said, like yogurt and rice. But I don't really have yogurt and rice, so I'll I'll kind of you know that's that's what I'm gonna be doing right after this is figuring out how to take care of her. Lot of trouble with this game. It's basically the Z. This I'm in a lot of trouble because of the Z.
Zufar, maybe uh, refresh your stream and it shows like for me, you know, it shows that you're th you got the three month badge now. Maybe refresh your stream and then see if there's like something that uh, a notification that kind of pops up near chat. Okay, that can bounce said. I'm like I just I'm not I don't have any faith that like blocking then twin disciplines is gonna work. Like I feel like they're gonna have tricks as well. And that just won't work. Think they can see me? Plain yogurt pumpkin. I don't have pumpkin either. I don't have a whole lot. Are we still like drinking water and everything? I. Uh, there you go. Tie upgrade. Zufar with the tie upgrade. Hmm. I mean, I guess I might as well try, you know, force them to use their trick, I guess. Wow. It worked. I did not expect that to happen. Deck art big. So I guess they didn't target the... So they didn't target the Green Blade duo, because otherwise we would have seen it. The Shadow Assassin. That's a good one to target. Because then I bounce Shadow Assassin, but then they get to replay it. So we get eight mana next turn, it's perfect for Life Blade plus Will of Ionia. They should just go straight to attacks. I would prefer if they don't. I'd prefer if they play something else first. Good. These are dangerous lands. They cannot hide. I was hoping I was hoping they were gonna play a trick to keep their five five alive and then I would wheel of Ionia theirs. But they didn't, so we just trade. Hey Krabby! That's my resting face.
Uh, I mean, yeah, that, that's basically it. You know, like Teemo's elusive with these, and also you get you get Teemo's. You know, you get them off the wayfinder, and so you can get like multiple Teemo's in play that that can do some crazy stuff. Um, I've had like the puff caps help. You know, like you hit them, like the puff caps are get. You know, you can get like you know one or two chip shot damage also. So Teemo's been fine, but it's not it's not ideal, but it's it's pretty good. Uh, what do you think? I walk your path alone. They cannot strike what they cannot see. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. basically a waste of a card by me you know like all our our card did was just do the you know just do just trade with the play trigger on a jewel protector it's pretty tough these are dangerous lands I'm hoping that they are scared of me having another Twin Disciplines or something like that and make a poor block. That's kind of what I'm going for here. Kind of representing strength. I sense fear. Hold up. Eyes open. You cannot escape. Darn. Darn. No, they weren't scared. So I lose one more creature than they do. Shadow Assassins. They cannot strike what they cannot see. I will play my good. The mushroom is just another Teemo. My best chance is top decking a hatchling. I, you know, I have a couple hatchlings also. I think that's one of my best chances is drawing my own hatchling. I don't want to play this because I don't want to. I don't want to shuffle a Teemo into the deck. I don't want to draw a Teemo. That's not going to do it. I don't even know if I have one drops left, honestly. I may not. I've drawn a whole lot of one drops. Uh, 
All right, lost the elusive mirror, but I don't think that it's necessarily a bad matchup for us, even though we lost the mirror. My opponent drew Zed and I didn't, which was, which was very important, and they drew the hatchling and I didn't. And I also didn't draw any of my PNZ burn spells, you know, mystic shots, stuff like that. And they drew more Shadow Assassins. Shadow Assassin's a big time card there with the draw card. Probably should have just kept that other one drop. Lux Karma. Everything's better with company. That works. Basically, I, I want the Wayfinders because I think they like they're going to be trying to kill a bunch of creatures, and so I want these to stock up and maybe get more Teemos. Teemo is important here, getting the Puff Caps because they're going to be playing a long game, and so getting Puff Caps against the deck playing a long game is important. Yep, yep, yeah, if you, if, yeah, this will. Let none disturb my meditation. Pump up the creatures. Uh, in your deck, like if, yeah, if you played the hearth guard and all your creatures get plus one, plus one, this will bring creatures with the plus one, plus one with it. Seven mana. Let's go. So they killed one Teemo for the other Teemo to hit him, but then they take five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll trade a Teemo for all that damage. You cannot escape. Considering we just got a free Teemo with this two three. Passing. Were they? Did they use Will of Ionia and bounce my Teemo? They did. Huh. No, it whiffed. The order rewards its faithful. Reporting it. Just going for the win. Hit them down to two. Get the double mystic shot.
All right, they're up to four. Just need them to tap out. At least tap under deny mana. My path is clear. I am the blade in the darkness. Come on, play another spell. Hmm. They are not playing said spell. <laughs> These are dangerous lands. I will play my part. Eyes open. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. Things are gonna trade anyway. This could just help me with the, you know, this will give me room for Wayfinder. Still got my double Mystic Shot available. I haven't drawn any of the puff caps yet. We got him. We got him. All right, so ended up with a six and four record with Elusive Burn. Not bad. Not bad. Um, yeah, I liked the deck. I liked it. I, you know, I'm not exactly sure if it's, if it's better, but it, it felt like it maybe was better than the traditional, um, you know, Kinku elusives. And, you know, like some of these numbers could be, you know, could be changed a little bit, you know, like Will of Ionia. Thermogenic beam, you know, like those those kind of cards that deny. Maybe fudge some numbers a little bit. Um, the you know, so we went six and four, but remember one of those games I I played very poorly, made made a bunch of different mistakes like in different spots that I really really should have been a win. Um, so you know, def, definitely should have been a seven three. Um, but yeah, the deck deck was good. I liked it. I I had more fun playing this than the Kinko loses because we were playing Teemo and Teemo's fun. And then, you know, burn spells are pretty fun too. And so, you know, we get like Mystic Shock, get excited, you know, get to use those. Um, so yeah, burn spells are pretty fun too. So I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I would, uh, I recommend giving this one a try, especially if you already, if you don't have the elusive deck, you already like the elusive stuff. Um, if you got Teemo's, Give this a try. I liked this deck quite a bit. All right, but that's it here for Elusive Burn. 
So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave the comments. Let me know, what did you think of Elusive Burn compared to normal Elusives? Leave, those, leave that comment down below. Um, but that's it here for Elusive Burn. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.